Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to the channel. After I hopped on Fortnite for like the first time in forever, I noticed that they added these new devices called sky domes, which is pretty much a way to control the sky in a way uh, better fashion than the normal my island settings. You know, this allows you to go through a lot more in-depth settings to create literally the perfect sky of your choice. Cause I'm pretty sure you could get like thousands if not millions of different combos for light settings in here. So yeah, I'm gonna probably create a series on this. Let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this. At the end of the video, just comment down below and tell me if you want to see more videos like this because I'm down to make a series cause there's a lot of combos you can create and it's it, I had fun creating them. But anyways, yeah, in today's video, I'm gonna be going over a couple of Skydome settings that I messed around with and I found a couple of my favorites here. So anyways, I'm gonna be showcasing them so you guys can go into your own maps and copy these settings down and just have fun with them. But yeah, with that said, my name's Loyal and let's get started with the video. Alright guys, so as you can see here, I set up 7 different Skydome settings, as well as 2 extra bonus ones and you will see exactly why when I talk about each one. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each one and pretty much show you the modified options, which pretty much shows you only the settings that I've changed throughout the device. So all these settings here are the only ones you're going to need to change. It's just a lot better than showing all the options because some of these I didn't change so it's just wasting your time by reading through ones that haven't been changed yet. Anyways that might be confusing but I'm just basically going to be going through only the modified options so you know what to change. But anyways yeah here is the first one. Alright so this one I'm in love with. It's basically just a purple to pink gradient sky and it's just really calm. It's, it, it pretty much just matches those smooth and calm vibes. Let's say you're doing a montage or just like 1v1ing and want to just chill. This is a nice light and fog combo. A really good thing about it is it's not too saturated and it's just very, um I don't know what the word is, vague or just uh, faded away. So when you're building, it's not just taking over the whole screen and it's just easy to focus on what you're doing. But anyways, the settings for this one is right here and just copy them down as you want to. Alright guys, so here is our second one, and this is it. Now, this one is a lot more different than the first one. I mean, it's the same color, it's purple, but what we have here is a black background. And I kind of just decided to make this one because I was actually a big fan of the all black 1v1 maps. I don't know if you guys remember that phase where all Fortnite players just wanted to have an all black 1v1 map. But anyways, I tried to get inspiration from that but I wanted to make the sky kind of galaxy-like, if you know what I mean. I added some purple and some purple clouds with the stars in to make it seem as if it was like space, and I know it's not space, but the clouds make it seem very, very galaxy-like. And I love free building in this because it's really easy to focus on your builds like the first one, and I think that's because the sky is black and there's not too much to focus on, and it really just lets your build stand out. Anyways, the settings are right here, so just copy it down as you want to. I just want to say right now, feel free to mess around with these settings because you can create some really cool stuff. I don't want you to copy mine all the way, you know, just, just mess around and see if you can create any really cool combos because that's just really what I did for all these. I just messed around with each setting and found some cool stuff. So yeah, feel free to do that. Anyways, as we see here, I have a bonus one on top of this, which is pretty much kind of like the same light and not light and fog. Sky Dome setting, I'm used to saying light and fog, but just changed colors or just a bit more modified options, but just kind of keeping the same idea. So if this one, I actually managed to make it red, and it just really looks nice. If you're one of those aggressive or fast editing players, this would match you because it red just screams aggressiveness, you know, it's fast. I don't know how to describe the color, but you know, just kind of get your own idea out of it. I can show you guys a quick example right now. I'm not the best editor. Yeah, as you can see there, I, I kind of suck, but that's why I have you guys. So you guys can experiment on your own through these light and fog, not light and fog, sky dome settings. Oh my gosh, I'm so used to saying that. Anyways, let's move on to our next one. Right now we have this and it is a very dreamy slash I don't know I don't know how to describe this one it kind of feels a bit foggy and rainy which I really like that kind of vibe as well as I see northern lights I know this map doesn't look like it but it's kind of a little touch to that with the you know green uh, clouds and green sky but I don't know I just I just really like this I just like the dreamy vibe and uh, it's it's not too in your face like the other uh, sky dome settings I have here so it's just really smooth and 
and just chill to 1v1 in or just, you know, get cliffs in. Oh my, okay, I kind of suck. I need to get better at this game. I mean, I haven't really played in like four to five months, so just don't judge me on that. But yeah, there's not much to say for this. Here are the settings if you want to copy them. All right, here is our next one. Boom. And yeah, I I don't know how to describe this one. I can just say it's 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 cool. It's very uh fantasy-like. That's really the only thing I can use to describe it. Uh, the clouds are very bright and the sky is actually dark, which allows or adds some like kind of depth into the sky, which I really, really like. And it's just very dreamy. The same word I used as the last one, but you can see the reflections in the water. It looks very, very nice. And it's just that very fantasy vibe, which I like. Only thing with this one is the sky is not very faded away. You know, the colors are pretty saturated. So, so if you're building in this, there's a lot going on. You can just see all the dark and light colors. And it really kind of takes away the focus from your builds if you're making montages. Which, I don't know if you guys are going to like. But, you know, that's why I gave you guys options in this video. Alright, here are the modified options. So just copy them down. And here we have a bonus one, so I'll show you guys this one as well, here, boom, and it's kind of the similar thing, but I'm pretty sure all I changed was just the fog density, and this makes it so you can kind of have it a bit similar to the other sky, but just a lot less saturated and more faded away so it's, you know, more in the background. But this just kind of gives that rainy type of vibe and just makes it not, you know, in your face as I explained as the last one, and just gives all focus to your own builds, which I really like. Anyways, if you want to look at the settings, it's right here. Alright, so this next one is just very, very pink. And if you're just a pink person, or you just like that cherry blossom type, you know, vibe or look. I, I say the word vibe a lot, I just noticed that, okay? But anyways, yeah, if you like this, then use it. That's all I have to say for this. <laughs> one word I can use to describe it is it's very cotton candy, because, you know, you have the blue water and, you know, the pink sky with white clouds, which makes it look very fluffy and soft. That's a weird way to describe uh, the sky in Fortnite, but that that's what I see, okay? But anyways, if you want to use it, here are the settings or the modified options. Okay, our next one is right here. Boom, and this one's similar to a couple of the ones I already showed, but it's just kind of a bit different with it being a lot lighter on the eyes and just, you know, showing a nice and purple dreamy sky. I think it's similar to, uh, was it the first one we had? Here's the first one. Yeah, it's just like this one, but instead it's just a lot faded away and less, you know, in your face. But anyways, yeah, here is the sky and yeah, copy it down if you want to use it. Here are the settings. And last but not least, we have this one right here, and boom, there it is. With this one, it's it's kind of like a sunrise, and I really, really like it. It's like a fantasy sunrise. You know, sunrises don't look as beautiful as this because it has pink in it, but uh, yeah, I really like this one. I really, really like this one. So if you want a kind of, you know, fantasy sunrise looking type of sky, then feel free to play along with it. Anyways, I'm going to try to free build because this is the last one and I wonder if I'm, you know, good enough to actually pull off a free build without messing up. Oh my gosh, I might, I, wow, wow, I did, I'm, I'm doing it. Oh, oh my, oh my, okay, no, there, I messed it up. But yeah, that is the sky. Um, let me show you guys the settings for this one, and that will wrap up the video. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this type of video, um, because I haven't uploaded, like I said, for about four or five months, so um, I'm gonna have to get used to this again. So, you know, let me know if you liked it by dropping a like on the video, or also dropping a comment, because I do go by and read the comment section all the time. So yeah, do that. But anyways, with these, like I said, just modify them as much as you want. It's just, you can find some really cool combos out of them, experiment some really weird, wonky key color combos and you never know it might make a really really beautiful sky in fortnite but yeah that's my tip for you guys here um anyways thank you guys so much for making it to the end of the video if you want to support me my code is loyals it's just basically loyal with an s 
and thank you thank you thank you thank you very much if you do so but yeah that's gonna have to wrap up the video thank you guys so much for watching and peace out